In football, you get three points for a win, one point for a draw, and zero points for a loss. But what would happen if we reversed that? So using the Football Manager Editor, I'm changing the points you get for each result in England's top five leagues. However, when you switch off points for a win, the game still awards three points for a win. So instead, we're dropping the points you receive for a win to the minimum of two, and then awarding four points for a draw and six points for a loss. So unless every team in England works out that in order to win, you need to lose, the very best teams are going to tumble down the table. In season one, we see exactly that, as Sheffield United lift the Premier League title after losing 24 games. Man City, on the other hand, finish rock bottom after winning 28 games. Also, because we can't give zero points for a win, every single team has recorded over 100 points total. But what this does mean is that by the end of the video, we are going to scientifically find out who is the worst team in England. Leicester, Southampton and Leeds all should have been promoted to the Premier League, but instead find themselves getting relegated to League One. Also looking forward to seeing a title battle between the two Sheffield clubs next season in the Premier League. There is also a slight caveat in the Football League, and that is that in the playoffs, you can't have the loser of the game progress. So Preston did actually beat Birmingham 2-1 on aggregate, and then beat Millwall 2-0 in the final to end up promoted fourth place from the championship. Cambridge were the best worst team in League One as they won the playoffs to join Carlisle and Northampton in the championship, whereas Gillingham had the season of their lives to win 26 games and get relegated. Finally, in the National League, Kidderminster pip Ebbsfleet to the title by actually being better than them as they conceded less goals. Ebbsfleet fans are fuming as they point out they are actually the worst team and should be promoted. So based on the logic that Man City could be the best team in every season they have, they may well be in the National League by season five. If things were normal, and Liverpool, Spurs and Man City weren't in the division, Everton would have got Champions League football in season two. But instead, they've been relegated, as Plymouth beat Sheffield Wednesday to the title with a monumental 28 losses. Cambridge and Carlisle will fight them for the title next season as they secure back-to-back -back promotions, with Spurs, Liverpool and City securing back-to-back -back relegations. As a Lincoln City fan, I am delighted to see us relegated, as it means we had a superb season in League One with 24 wins. Instead, they actually finish a mammoth 64 points behind title winner Swindon. But Kidderminster fans must be delighted. They're heading up to League One by once again being the worst team in their division. And Gillingham and Stockport will find themselves in regional non-league divisions next season as they suffer back-to-back -back relegations. I haven't changed the points for the leagues below the National League, so we might see these clubs bounce around between the National League and National League North and South for a few seasons. Until eventually they adjust to that level of football and then become so bad, they start getting promoted. In season three, Carlisle win the Premier League, but it's actually Burnley who do the worst out of the current Premier League teams. It's also taken three seasons, but Chelsea are finally good enough to get relegated. Shrewsbury run Swindon in a close title race, but lift the trophy with a huge 236 points in the championship. And it's another promotion for Kidderminster as they narrowly lose out on the title to Walsall. It's also another relegation for City, Spurs and Liverpool. Leicester miss out on relegation to the National League as even Derby managed to pick up more wins than the Foxes across the season. But Ebbsfleet finally get over the woes of season one and get the promotion they've craved so much by being so rubbish. In season four, Shrewsbury go back to back after winning the championship title. They're now crowned the worst team in England as they top the Premier League table by 12 points. Great work from Luton to be even worse than the likes of Plymouth, Cambridge and Preston. But you've got to hand it to Kidderminster. They've only gone and got promoted again. I love the dedication from them to be the worst side every single season. Helped by the league's top three scorers, who are somehow playing at League One level, Everton, United and Arsenal are all getting relegated from the league, where they'll join Man City in League Two as they avoid relegation at the expense of Spurs and Liverpool. They'll be in the National League next season where Southampton and Leeds won't be as they go down again. So as we head into season five, there's still one thing I am really surprised about. The Premier League is still the most popular league in all of Europe and it still somehow has four Champions League qualifying spots as Kidderminster will take part in the group stage next season. This is really surprising as Wolves are the only English team to make it to the round of 16 back in 2025 since we started this video. But that same season, Brighton were in the Europa Conference League because they won the League Cup the season before. 
and they went on to beat Aberdeen 4-1 in the final. So it's the small pass victories like these that are keeping England afloat for now. Especially as Spurs and Liverpool are getting relegated from the National League, that means there isn't much chance of them qualifying for Europe via cup competitions. Although Liverpool still have an absolutely stacked team, how other clubs haven't come in to buy these players yet, I have no idea. Jumping forward to season 10 though, the Premier League has been knocked off its perch and is now the fourth most popular league in Europe. The division itself is completely unrecognisable and Bath City are the worst team in England, closely followed by Stevenage, Newport County and Grimsby Town. Interestingly though, Kidderminster have been being relegated as they're now genuinely one of the best teams in the league. This is because they've been there so long their reputation has hugely increased, meaning better and better players are interested in signing for the club. And the club will sign these better players because they are programmed to win games, even though you pick up more points for losing. And so by getting so good, they're actually technically getting really bad and getting relegated. So there may well be a situation where we actually see Kidderminster back in non-league football soon. And potentially it's what we're seeing with Sheffield Wednesday, as they are getting relegated from the championship after they came second in the Premier League in season two. Aldershot and South Shields had a close battle for the championship title, but Aldershot were just the worst team. But I am most impressed with Plymouth. They won the Premier League in season two and are now getting relegated from League One. How the mighty have fallen, or technically in a weird way, risen? Ignoring Luton in the championship, we finally find more Premier League sides in League Two, although Palace are getting promoted, whereas Wolves are technically the best side in the Football League and as a result will be in the Europa League next season. Not because they won the FA Cup this season, it's because they actually won the Europa Conference League instead. A League Two club getting relegated wins Europeans third rate competition. I love this game sometimes. So interestingly, Manchester United are one of the worst teams currently in the National League as they finish in sixth place ahead of teams like Scarborough Athletic and Billericay Town who won more games. Liverpool aren't in this league because they're in the National League North, which still gives three points for a win and zero for a loss, but they aren't actually good enough to escape the league. So Liverpool are kind of stuck in some sort of weird purgatory. Fast forwarding to season 25, Barnet are the worst team in England as they beat Boreham Wood to the title. However, my team Lincoln City became the first team to win back-to-back -back titles in the early 2040s, which is great because we won the Premier League, but bad because it means we were the worst team in England two years in a row which I don't really know how to feel about. I mean, if you could like the video for me, that would definitely cheer me up a bit. Kidderminster were runners up a few seasons later, but now find themselves in League One. Their 20 year graph is superb. They were so bad to begin with, they got themselves up to the Premier League, and then they got really good there, which meant they got relegated all the way down to League Two, where they got so bad, they got promoted back to the Premier League, where they got so good, they're on their way back down again. This video is just ridiculous. The same thing is happening to the real life Premier League clubs, as Arsenal are now seventh place in the championship. As things got so bad, they're now getting good again. Or is it the other way around? But most former Premier League clubs are still in non-league. But I'm pleased to see Lincoln City there because that technically means they're the fifth best team in England right now. But poor old Liverpool and Newcastle are still in the National League North, which is a curse. Neither side are good enough to get promoted, where they would then be bad enough in the league above to win another promotion. I mean, Nantwich could start a dynasty in the Premier League if only they could get promoted from this normal division. The Premier League itself is now only seventh in popularity because all of the teams are so bad. They've also now dropped to eighth in European coefficients and they're still falling, limiting them to just two Champions League, two Europa League and one Conference League spots. This has allowed Barcelona, PSG, Real Madrid and Bayern Munich to dominate the Champions League. Whereas Italian clubs rule the Europa League, but Bristol City did make it to the Conference League final this season. So how bad could it actually get for English football? I've left the game running overnight until 2108, or season 85, and South End are officially the worst team in England. Amazingly, Luton and Newcastle are the only current Premier League sides in the division. The league is now only the 12th most popular in Europe, which I think is quite surprising, given the lack of quality in the division. But they're 13th for European coefficients, meaning they get just two Champions League, one Europa League and two Conference League spots, but they're in the very early qualifying rounds. For example, last season's champions Crawley got through two qualifying rounds in the Champions League before losing in that final qualifying round, meaning 
and they dropped down into the Europa League league phase instead, where they actually did okay, qualifying from there, but got knocked out by Bruce Dimitri and Gladbach in the playoff round. So, as you'd expect, we haven't seen a single English winner of the Champions League or the Europa League, but there have been a few winners in the Conference League. After Wolves' victory in 2033, Worthing, Luton and Carlisle won it in quick succession in the early 2050s. Then we had an English winner about once a decade, with Oxford United, Yeovil, Notts County and Oxford City all winning the tournament. I don't think anyone had two teams from Oxford winning a European competition on their bingo card for this experiment. Kidderminster are on another one of their riders up the league, as they get promoted from the Championship along with Stoke and Reading. West Ham are the third highest ranked former Premier League club as they win League One to go up with Swindon and Wrexham. Wingate and Finchley in fifth place are a seventh division team in real life, but in this database they almost won the Premier League title. However, Bury in ninth place start in the ninth tier, so they've had an incredible rise to the National League where they then got so bad they kept getting promoted. In League 2, Leicester win the title with a massive 246 points, which is the highest points total we've ever seen. But you have to go back to League 2 in 2080 for the highest ever points total. That season, they lost an incredible 41 games. And in the National League, we finally see that Liverpool have gotten out of the National League North after they spend almost 50 years trapped in the division before briefly getting up to League One and then coming back down to the National League. But the big question is who has been the worst team in England across this entire experiment? The answer is Morecambe, as they've won the Premier League title on six different occasions. They've also just finished third in the last two seasons of the Premier League, so they could win even more titles if we carried on simulating. So from destroying teams in this video, how about rebuilding them? Everton have had a 10 point deduction, so we took it upon ourselves to get them back to glory. You can find out how that one went with the video on screen right now. 